Right, so welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, today I want to talk to you about another hidden gem that you may not know about, okay? And that of course is Cardia Chain. It's described as the blockchain of blockchains. It's fully scalable, interoperable, and it's decentralized. It allows non-invasive connections to transfer both asset and data between any participant on blockchains and dApps. Right, so the goal is to provide, basically provide a convenient and secure mode of payment and settlement between participants who interact with an ecosystem on the Cardia chain. And uh, what caught my eye about Cardia chain? Okay, uh, well, first of all, um, there's something unique about them. Um, so they say in their white paper. Okay, so it says here one of the many unique features of Cardia chain is that a user can interact with Cardia chain to trigger an event on one chain that leads to a result on a different chain. So, Cardia chain. Basically, the ICO token sale, it sold out. All right, I think it was about four and a half million, maybe a bit less, and that basically sold out 100%. So there's a lot of hype about the, about the project at, uh, at the get-go before it really even got launched onto an exchange. All right, now what really caught my eye with Cardia Chain. All right, so if we have a look on the website, okay, what caught my eye with Cardia Chain? Well, first of all, let's have a look at the partnerships. Okay, so it's well, we don't know if all of these are partners, but it's partners and investors. All right, so we've got the likes of Chainlink, Neo, Matic, you know, Band Protocol, which people are comparing to Chainlink now, Contentos. We've got a partnership with LG here. Uh, whether it's a partner or an investor, I mean, more or less the same thing at this point. Uh, LG. Okay, now that caught my eye because LG is like quite a large company. All right, and uh, obviously you got like some of the top players, Chainlink, Matic, Neo. Do you know what I mean? And uh, Neo is it's interesting because this is a uh, this this uh, this uh, cryptocurrency is based in the southeast of Asia. All right, and obviously Neo is a Chinese project. Millions and millions of people there to reach out to in regards to that. Okay, so now let's have a look at what they do. Here we go. So it's the world's first fully interoperable and non-invasive blockchain platform. Okay, so their mission statement is to bring hundreds of millions of people onto blockchain, starting with our local market in Vietnam and Southeast Asia. Our approach is to partner with existing service providers, enterprises and governments, help them transform their centralized products and services. This approach allows us to expedite the blockchain mass adoption process in an efficient manner, reducing the need for educating the market, as well as providing more usability as more and more service providers are joining the Cardia chain ecosystem. So they've got the smart city here. Uh, so they're collaborating with one of the largest cities in Vietnam to develop a blockchain solution to store medical records, student profiles, uh, job postings, and so on. All right. We've got the mobile mobile payments channel and on sports. I believe there's there's uh, there's a, some kind of integration with esports that they've got. So that's interesting. All right. Now, if we look at the roadmap, okay. Please bear with me because my computer has been giving me issues today, if I'm being honest. Uh, we look at the roadmap. Okay, let's try this. I'll go to our products. Right, so the roadmap is over here, but before we get to that, let's not skip past all this. So, right, so sustainable scalability, like I said, it's scalable, okay? Non invasive interoperability. So, that's basically removing barriers, okay? Um, but obviously in a secure way, okay? So, connecting the blockchains together, like regardless of their protocol or their type, whether it's public or private and then eliminating the need for participating blockchains to conform to a single standardized protocol. Okay, they're going for mass adoption. 
uh, like I said in the in the mission statement, you know they want to they want to uh, work with governments and so on. Okay, so regulating uh, being regulated would be good. All right, and one thing I wanted to point out as well is sharding. All right, I believe uh, Zilliqa probably was the first one to introduce sharding into their into their blockchain. But as you can see, Cardio Chain is implementing the same methods. All right, and we talked about the smart city and so on. Okay, so the roadmap. I'm gonna skip past all of this because we've already passed it. All right, first two quarters of 2020. So here we are now. We're in quarter three at the moment. Okay, we've got the Cardia Master Wallet, Youth Union Incentive DAP. But what uh, caught my eye was this. Okay, so in quarter four, they've got the mobile payment channel rolling out in Vietnam, apparently. Okay, and then the esports incentive project product launch like I, like I mentioned before about esports e and also there's a mainnet all right now I won't rush out and buy this now because if you look at the chart okay I believe it was launched uh, it's been it's been it's been uh, you know acute in accumulation since 2018 but we've seen you know big W pattern all the way up. we're looking at like 3,000 percent there all right over time okay so it's up way too high to just run into this okay definitely need to see a bounce off off of this level now because uh um support is all the way down here uh, based on that we've got a big m pattern and that could be coming down all right we've got a double top with the big m pattern coming all the way down okay so we've got the macd cross bearish macd cross on the one day chart got the rsi still not falling even down below the 40 mark uh, it would be nice to see that down to 30 mark before we even got in uh, the momentum is heading to the downside so i wouldn't rush out and buy this now the purpose of this review is just to put it on your radar okay because there is a lot of hype about this project and it seems like they've got quite uh, a few things going on uh if you look at the coin market cap it's ranked 318 for a reason okay because there's some hype all right and obviously you can see all of that movement to the upside it's still a low cap gem all right it's only 17 0.7 million market cap all right 5 billion total supply 1.6 billion circulating all right it's up 5.96 percent on the day it's only a penny so yeah it's definitely a still a low cap gem but i wouldn't throw more into it at this point just based on that uh, but you know i'm not a financial advisor and it's not financial advice please make sure you make your own decisions and do your own research all right so that's cardio chain it's the first app on sports tokenization and like we saw is coming to the new mobile pay payment channel and that will launch in Vietnam in the fourth quarter so we're looking at you know October November December potentially with that okay looks like they've got some support from certain football related organizations okay now, full disclosure, I'm not investing in this coin, but like I said, there's a lot of crypto hidden gems. I can't afford to be in all of them all, all of the time, so that's what this channel is about. Raising awareness, putting a few crypto gems on people's radar, and this one is definitely on my radar. But far from, uh, far from, I'm far from putting it, putting an entry in on this uh, at the moment, not with the price all the way up there. It is, although it's still cheap. In fact, you know, I won't rule it out. You know, I probably would consider a very, very, very small investment at this point um just for a long-term hold but yeah i do believe it is is definitely a good uh, a good long-term hold uh, for you to consider cardio chain all right there's a few influencers talking about it and uh yeah it's definitely one to keep your eye on now when is this test net i wonder uh unless it's already passed okay this is old news okay so yeah, that's Cardio Chain, guys. Uh, sorry, I, I can't give you you know much more uh, details than that, but it's, the website's not doing me any favors at the moment. And uh, I can't remember w where I was looking for some of the other information that I wanted to go through. Maybe it was in features. See now, I'm clicking on features and nothing's happening. Um, Okay. Okay. Oh, something's happening. Okay, guys. Yeah, a um, bit of trouble with the website here. Um, I must admit that's not a good. Uh, that's not a good look. 
uh, when I'm doing a review on a coin to be honest but system issues eh? I've been having system issues with my uh, with my equipment uh, for the past hour or so to be honest it, was, it took me a while to even get started on this video okay Cardia Chain is a public blockchain focused on interoperability leading to re leading the race towards blockchain adoption in Vietnam by providing hybrid blockchain solution infrastructure for major enterprises and government bodies okay sort of like what we read already isn't it so they're getting some media coverage from some of these companies uh, some of these channels I guess OKX obviously I know that one I don't know any of the others okay fintech news um well yeah crypto differ yeah i know crypto differ guys that's cardia change so sorry about the the review i mean there, there are some things that i wanted to cover but um i can't seem to uh find the information that i was looking for so i do apologize for that but yeah definitely put this one on your radar cardia chain all right definitely want to keep an eye on and um yeah watch this space if you haven't subscribed already please do leave a like and a comment and i'll see you again in the next one